My fellow Americans, I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors, we're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we're our fellow Americans. We must stand together. Yesterday's shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania calls on all of us to take a step back. Take stock of where we are, how we go forward from here. Thankfully, former Trump is not seriously injured. I spoke with him last night. I'm grateful he's doing well, and Jill and I keep him and his family in our prayers. We also extend our deepest condolences to the family of the victims who was killed. Corey was a husband, a father, a volunteer firefighter, a hero, sheltering his family from those bullets. We should all hold his family and all those injured in our prayers. Earlier today, I spoke about an ongoing investigation. We do not know the motive of the shooter yet. We don't know his opinions or affiliations. We don't know whether he had help or support or if he communicated with anyone else. Law enforcement professionals, as I speak, are investigating those questions. There is no place in America for this kind of violence or for any violence ever, period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. Yes, we have deeply felt strong disagreements. The stakes in this election are enormously high. Disagreement is inevitable in American democracy. It's part of human nature. But politics must never be a literal battlefield, or God forbid, a killing field. I believe politics ought to be an arena for peaceful debate, to pursue justice, to make decisions guided by the Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. We stand for an America, not of extremism and fury, but of decency and grace. I'll continue to speak out strongly for our democracy, stand up for our Constitution and the rule of law, to call for action at the ballot box, no violence on our streets. That's how democracy should work. We debate and disagree. We compare and contrast the character of the candidates, the records, the issues, the agenda, the vision for America. But in America, we resolve our difference at the battle box. So tonight, I'm asking every American to recommit, to make America so, make America, what, think about it. What's made America so special? Here in America, everyone must be treated with dignity and respect, and hate must have no safe harbor. Here in America, we need to get out of our silos, where we only listen to those with whom we agree, where misinformation is rampant, where foreign actors fan the flames of our division to shape the outcomes consistent with their interests, not ours. Let's remember, here in America, while unity is the most elusive of all goals right now, nothing is more, more important for us now than standing together. We can do this. God bless you all. May God protect our troops.